all, I like to say I'm not rep uh, representing NCR in matter of uh, textbook. My topic was how poverty has been portrayed in the textbook and what is its uh, impact upon the learners or what is its impact upon the teacher. Uh, regarding the publication, why 2006 is being uh, carried out. But whatever has been suggested in 2006 is still not practiced in uh, schools or the classes. You know, if that was practiced, we would have a different system. You know, we, uh, it, it was advocated that we need to have a continuous examination in a sense. It, you know, we should not confine ourselves to the annual examination. We should have a regular, uh, 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 you mark the uh, students on the projects, you mark the students how they voice the opinion, you mark the teachers how they uh, uh, take up uh, creative activity. All this is not being practiced. So even if we have new textbooks with different ideologies or with different vision, if the previous one has not built a solid foundation, it will not work. And uh, now I'm, uh, I'm here. I'm, uh, I fully agree that uh, it's not error free. There are errors. But the, the error is also seen in terms of perspectives. It, especially in terms, uh, especially in the subject like social sciences, the perspective differ, differ from section to section, from class to class. You know what, uh, I, I may not give the example here, what is good for one section of the population may not be liked by another section of the population. So uh, at times you are bringing out the, uh, the realities, but that's objective. Uh, you should not hurt that uh, sentiment of the huge population. But here I have taken up the uh, teaching learning of the poverty in the classroom, so I would not like to go in the detail. Thank you. I have been asked to conclude it, but uh, I think one question we can take. Uh, are you as we are assessing social studies textbooks from the point of view of national integration and I find that uh, our researchers can benefit from the research methodology that you have followed in this paper and I will recommend them to go through your paper. So thank you for that. Uh, secondly, uh, this is on the basis of my experience in the Middle East uh, Indian schools that there the teachers without exception are following idea, are using their IT skills in order to sensitize <coughs> students. A job which is not being carried out here in Indian schools, whether uh, central schools or public schools or government schools, private schools, nowhere uh, this IT skill is being used by teachers. And this is to a great extent responsible for uh, non-sensitization of our students. And this is again connected with the uh, with the college with our colleges of education which are in very bad, bad shape. My, uh, on the basis of my, my experience I am telling that if the, in a college of education the, the enrollment is 100, only 25 students are standing up and 75 percent of the students are paying for their absence and they are paying for their sessions and then they are using cheating in the near examination. Uh, this, this is, this is a, a, a universal thing, at least in UP. So uh, this is interconnected. Now there they are being taught how to use IT skills uh, in the classroom. Now when they are not turning up, to the, to the instructional part, how they are going to do it? Um, I would like to thank all my speakers and I would like to thank you all for being with us. And Mr. Ikram Kelis will give away mementos to all the speakers. So speakers please come one by one.